we're back with the TBR Jar Pick Out Book Video Thing Extreme. Ta -ta. Right. So, getting to it, we are going to be doing TBRs. Uh, actually, like, videotaping them and recording whatever happens when we pull these bad boys out. And I figured we would do three. We pick three. So then, for the next... I don't know. It doesn't take us that long to read books. <laughs> But, um, we pick three out of the pile that we have in here, so then- I have a really big pile. <laughs> yeah, I know. That means you got more variety. And, um, mm -hmm. then afterwards, with those three choices in mind, we can take them out of the jar when we're done, and then we can add three new ones because we have a problem. We have a problem. <laughs> I have a problem. <laughs> and we buy books left, right, and center we buy, online. Say, we buy books a lot faster than we read books. Yes, let's go so. with that. So, um... <laughs> One, don't don't patronize us. You probably do the same thing. And yeah. two, we're gonna get started because I want to read, and you are taking up my time. The last book that we have currently finished, last book I finished, is Silver Shadows by Rochelle Mead. Um, this is the fourth book in the Bloodline series, so it's kind of a spin-off to um, the Vampire Academy, so it has certain characters that are pulled and, and this is their own story. Um, of the entire series, this is probably my least favorite because I really dislike everyone was just really making mad. Can I just say that I liked the last like 10 pages? Yeah. Even though I'm really mad, so she needs to make the next one like ASAP. The last yeah. one too, by the, the series way. is really good and she's a really good author. I just... Like, all the characters were just like mm. Like if you've read the Vampire Academy, like you've read that whole series, please pick up Bloodlines because it's like it's just a companion sort of thing to the characters that don't really get an ending in the series. So uh, yeah, you should read it. We we might have a discussion video on it, but we don't. Let us know if you want that. Yeah. So um, my book that I just finished about it's gonna we're gonna count like 60 hours ago or something some something great like that was Fixing Delilah, and it is by Sarah Ockler. I don't know how to pronounce her last name properly, but she is the author of uh, like 20 Boys Summer and I think there's another one. She really writes all these summery contemporary books and I figured, hey, it's still August. Why not get to it? And I recently read this a long, long, long time ago and I didn't remember the name of the book. I don't remember how it went. So I figured, Book Outlet, $2.99. Go nuts. If you don't know what Book Outlet is and you want to know what it is, we will leave the link in the description and you can click it out. Click it out? Yeah, you click can it check out. it out and click it. And it's really good. It has a bunch of books, hardcover and paperback, and it's really cheap. It's pretty good. Oh, TBR time. Dun, 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 dun. So we're just going to give it a good shake. So how many are you picking? Truss. We're going to pick three, and then we're going to pick, I guess, the one we want to read the most first. Yeah. What? We're going to have a special guest. Oh, no. And he is going to choose, well, you know, pick for us and he's gonna read them out so it's all suspenseful he's just gonna be like an imaginary so for Cassandra you yes. have yeah okay okay so I, you want one yeah <laughs> just three all right so we have the ocean at the end of the lane by Neil Gaiman which I don't actually own a physical copy of. It is on my Kobo, but I really want the physical copy, so that'll probably happen. We have The Bronze Horseman, by I don't even know what her name is, but she's a Russian, <laughs> Russian <laughs> author, I believe. <laughs> I'm just so excited. And uh, that's a great one. It's a historical romance kind of thing. And then the third one is Sega, which is a graphic novel. And I don't own that yet either. So, this TBR is just telling me to buy more Luckily, books. Luckily, I own all of my books, so this will be fun. <laughs> and my three books are... Are... Rebel Bell, which I actually wanted to pick up really like, soon. So that's good, Rebel Bell. Only Everything, which is really cool because it's about a girl and she's actually like stupid. It's kind of cool. So yeah, that. And Matched. 
It's the one, the green girl, the one, with the green cover with the girl in the orb. Yeah. She's like in a ball of light. Those are my three books. And I don't know which one I'm gonna read. I might read the Bronze Horseman. I, I just, I clearly got too excited. <laughs> I think I'm gonna read Rival Bell just because it's not part of a series, so it's probably easier for me to read that way. Rival Bell, my next book after Elusive. Foot, foot, foot. Okay, guys, that's pretty much all for our TBR jar video showdown. Showdown? <laughs> Show up. Show up! <laughs> um, yeah, so. Comment, like, subscribe. Subscribe! Oh, where is the subscribe button? In the literally, literally do. In the hunk of the We haven't thought of a name yet! Yeah, yeah no, the part! The. Uh, subscribe! Steve Play! Oh, the description! <laughs>